Do you need to provide a client server and web-based access to the data stored in your CA IDMS mainframe databases? Did you know that capability is already present in your CA IDMS server? Hello, my name is Esther Lee, IDMS Software Engineer at CA Technologies. This video is part two in our CA IDMS modernization video series. And today, I'll be talking to you about the CA IDMS server product and the CA IDMS ODBC driver. So let's get started. IDMS Server is really simple to install and configure. All the backend components needed to run IDMS Server are already installed on your IDMS TV on the mainframe. All you need to do is configure a listener terminal on the TCP IP line within your CA IDMS system in order to receive the communications traffic coming in from your ODBC client. This is a sample of the syntax you'll need to apply to your IDMS system in order to configure its use for IDMS Server. The installation and configuration of IDMS Server on the client side is just as easy. All IDMS clients are now able to download IDMS Server using CA Support Online. Once downloaded, the installation can be done without intervention and only takes a minute. To give you an idea of how simple it is to configure IDMS Server, let's go through the process of creating an ODBC data source for IDMS. To create an ODBC connection, the first step is to open the ODBC Data Source Administrator. We can do that simply by searching ODBC in the Windows search bar. Click Add to create a new data source, and select CA IDMS Driver and then click Finish. Here we can see the CA IDMS Server ODBC Administrator dialog and this is where I'll be configuring my IDMS data source. The data source name is user specific. It can be any name related to an application that runs on your IDMS system. Let's give my data source a name of my data source. Then specify the dictionary name containing the definitions of the tables we want to access. Next, specify a server name. The server name again is user specific. It represents the IDMS system you want to access. So let's give my server a name of my IDMS system. The default schema can be left blank and the program name can be left as a default. Next, go to the Server tab. In the Server tab, you specify the information needed to communicate with your IDMS system. We'll be using the IDMS Communication Protocol for our data source. The IDMS Communication Protocol provides a direct TCP IP socket connection from the ODBC client to your IDMS CV. We'll provide the host name or the IP address of the LPAR where my IDMS system is running. Next, we'll specify the port number where my ODBC traffic will be received. This is the port number specified on the listener terminal that we defined within our IDMS system earlier in the video. Finally, I'll specify a wait timeout value. The wait timeout value dictates how long in seconds you want to wait for the backend IDMS system to respond before the ODBC drivers severs the connection. This usually happens in sub-second time, but may take more time if you're running a particularly long query. 30 seconds should be plenty of time. Click Apply, and that is all we need to do to configure a data source. To test the data source definition, let's go back to the Data Source tab and select Test. I'll provide a user ID and a password, in my case is optional. Click Connect, and you can see here I got a successful connection to my IDMS system. To see how this connection appears within IDMS, I'll leave the connection status panel open and jump over to my IDMS system. As you can see within the Perfmon real-time monitor, we have a connection coming underneath the LTERM resource usage summary screen and a task running under the active user task detail screen. Now that we have built our ODBC data source and verified it works properly, let's use this data source to actually retrieve some data using ODBC. I'm going to demo this using CI IDMS Visual DBA which is our client server DBA administration GUI tool that allows you to configure and manipulate your IDMS system remotely. It uses the ODBC protocol and the IDMS ODBC driver to facilitate communication with the backend IDMS system. Visual DBA also provides an open format SQL retrieval tool that we'll use to demo our driver and data source. Here in the command console, I'll issue a command select from demo schema dot employee and click the run button. 
As you can see here, we have now retrieved IDMS data in a client server mode using an ODBC enabled GUI interface. And this same capability can be used with any ODBC enabled tool. IDMS server and the IDMS ODBC driver are easy to install, easy to configure, and give you an easy way to provide client server and web based access to your CA IDMS data. To find more information about CA IDMS products, visit our product documentation site at docops.ca.com. If you'd like to see an index of all the videos in the series, then click on the link provided on the screen now. Thanks for watching.